Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am out here on the banks of this old creek back here in the woods and today we're gonna be trying to find some big old slime crappie with a jig and bobber. And uh, it's been a while since I've been down here to this spot and it's honestly been a while since I've been crappie fishing. We just got back from Florida not too long ago and uh, just now starting to get back in the swing of things here in Arkansas. But guys, the weather here is so much different than what it was in Florida. It is so, so cold. Like the high today is only like 36 degrees, which for some of y'all up north may not seem like a big deal, but for me, it is cold. So I am bundled up. I got like three jackets on. I got some sweatpants. I got a hat for my hat to cover my ears up. But normally when it gets cold like this, the crappie tend to kind of school up and bunch up together in certain holes. So I'm gonna start just kind of working my way from this spot kind of up towards this point and see what we can find. But guys, hopefully y'all are excited to join along with me on today's fishing adventure if so do me a huge favor hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you're new and let's see what kind of fish we can get on the bank today let's go There we go, fish on. First fish of the day. He smashed it. I don't know if he's gonna be a keeper or not. He's gonna be a little bit short, I think, but there we go, guys. It is freezing cold out here. And we got our first bite. That was only like our third or fourth cast. And that's exciting though, there's a couple crappie out there. Man, it has been a minute since I caught a crappie too. And that is a nice black crappie. Not a bad one at all. He's honestly probably a keeper. Okay, sweet. So from right here where the tip of his mouth is to this line where his tail is, that's 10 inches exactly. And he is over it. So he's actually our first keeper of the day. That's exciting. Let's get him strung up and let's see if we can catch some more. There's one. Feels a little bit better. My bobber was kind of behind a stick, so I couldn't see it. Oh, he's not as big as I thought he was gonna be. We were fooled earlier though. No, that one there definitely is not gonna keep. He's got some weird marks on too. But guys, look how pale these fish are. The water is cold, it's super muddy, and these fish are just so pale. Got some slashes right there. I think maybe he was grabbed by a bird or something. I don't know. And that's our second crappie of the day. A couple casts after that first one. We just gotta work the bait really slow. But it definitely seems like there's some out there in that spot. It's a cool spot. I'll talk about it here in a little bit. But that's the bait I'm catching them on. It's just a plain and simple one and a half inch tube it's chartreuse. I've got a 132nd ounce ACC crappie sticks, orange jig head. And I've got it below a bobber about two feet. We're gonna send it back out there. Bobber's gone. There's a bass or something jumped over here on my right. Look back, my bobber was gone. There we go. Now I wish I had my bass rod now. No, I'm just kidding. It looks like a pretty decent one. Ah, oh, he's gonna be a little short too. That's a white crappie though. Yeah, I just happened to look over that way and saw some shiners getting busted on by some bass and looked back over where my bobber was at and I couldn't find it. <laughs> and it's because this guy pulled it down. He's a little guy, he's probably like nine inch or just kind of just kind of long and skinny, but not long enough. There we go. That was a good bite. That looks like a big shiny boy. Next cast. Stay on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got another keeper right here, guys. Stay on. Stay on. Come up here. Yeah, baby. Is that another white crappie? It's another white crappie. Good fish, guys. Look at that. That's a stud, honestly. The hook just popped out. Same spot. Definitely gonna concentrate my efforts right there the mouth of that feeder creek. Cool fish, guys. Oh, 
Oh no, I missed him. There he got. There he is. That might be another keeper. Hard to say. Hey, they're just running like crazy today. I don't know what Delio is. Is that a crappie even? Yeah, it's a crappie. Oh, and he's a keeper too. Yes, sir. Another good chubby one. Again, in the mouth of that creek back there. It's taking kind of a long cast to get to them, but, but whenever I get back there to them, they bite it pretty much instantly. It's a good fish. Let's get him on the stringer. There's one. Finally got one up a little bit closer. It seems like a pretty decent one too. It is just painfully slow working this jig. Water is cold, the fish are very, very finicky. And boom, there we go. Come here, come here. Look at that. Another really solid fish. It's actually a keeper, but I think I noticed something on this other side. Ew, look at that. Look at that. He has got a major laceration over there. I don't know. You think we should, I think I'm probably going to let him go. I usually let these fish go whenever they have big cuts on them like that. Just because I found that um, whenever I clean the fish, they'll end up having worms in them. And it's just been more fish like this that have them in them. And the worms will be inside the fillet up here on both sides a lot of times. Now, while that is, I mean, honestly, our biggest one of the day, I'm going to send him back just because he is kind of janky. This side looks good, but it'd be all right. I have a feeling we'll catch plenty of fish today. Just make him back to bite us, but we'll send this guy back in the drink that's cool I mean literally guys I made one cast and I worked that bait for like three minutes maybe or four minutes I don't even know it was a long time but hey you gotta do what you gotta do for the slabs that was a really good one There we go. That was such a subtle bite. Oh my gosh. I think it's another good one though. Ah, he's probably going to be a little short. Yeah, he's going to be a little bit short. Just barely. He didn't even pull a bobber down. I saw it just kind of just stand up on its side weird. And I was like, frick, I got a fish. <laughs> nice. And there you have it, guys. Another nice little black crappie. He's probably going to be just shy of 10 inches. I'm going to set him on my tackle box and kind of see. I'm pretty sure he's not going to touch the line, but we will see. Oh, hold on a second, guys. He's crossed the line. Look at there. It's another 10 incher. Another 10 incher. I was wrong. I'll take it. My guesstimations are a tad off today. It's a good thing that I have that mark on my tackle box so I can really tell how big these fish are. Otherwise, I'd be throwing most of these back probably. <laughs> Next cast. That's crazy. Like I'll go like 10 minutes without catching anything, and I'll catch two back to back. I think I got another one for sure, keeper. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No doubter. Look at that. Another white crappie. Good mix of fish out here. Some are black, some are white, but they're all they all have this yellow tint. And after releasing that one bigger fish, we've been rewarded with two. Nice one's in his place. Always seems to work out. Okay, we're going right back in there where I caught that last one. I mean, right back in there. I think he bit it on the fall. There we go. That's a good bite. I think we've got another good one. That was an awesome bite. Best bite I've had all day. Just fully committed to it get up here oh yeah it's stud it's a stud for this creek get up here big dog another no doubt white crappie keeper back in the mouth of that feeder creek and he is pristine not a blemish on him not even a jagged fin that is a beautiful specimen right there oh gosh i was getting cold i hadn't had a bite how long has it been eight minutes 
which ain't too bad in the grand scheme of things, but my hands were getting cold. It is just, I'm, I'm struggling today. I usually don't struggle in the cold, but I am chilly. How many have we got now? I think we've got six, six or seven. There we go. Oh, he's big. Oh no, he's, oh no. No, that was a good one. Oh, shoot. Dang, why we gotta lose the biggest one? <laughs> Dang it. There he is. Stay on there. It has been a lull in the action, guys. Probably close to 30 minutes since we caught one. We missed a couple. This one feels pretty nice, a bit of crappy. It's honestly not fighting like a crappy, but it is. And it's another nice keeper. Hey yo. I missed two that were better than average. Yeah, it's been 25 minutes since we actually landed one. But we got another one. It's slow and steady. But we're really filling up the stringer now. I got some really good fish. I'm honestly thinking about going on a little bit of a vacation over that way. I've seen a bass come up on some shiners like three times. And I'm thinking that there's, you know, an influx of bait over there. And there could definitely be some crappie. Slide him on there with his buds. We're getting close to 10. fish that's that's unbelievable guys literally next cast i went 20 minutes without catching anything and now we've got two crappie back to back and this one here looks like another oh it's another good one i think they're just loaded up in that feeder creek that's definitely my biggest that's a slab guys boom look at that big old slab black crappie man i really wish i had my kayak or something so i could just go up in there and catch them but this is fun. That's a nice one, guys. That's our biggest. He's probably 12 inches. And I kid you not, that was literally the very next cast. And it was a, it was a good cast. I got way up in there. Can't complain about that. Oh, no. There we go, that's a nice one. Stay on big guy. Man, it has gotten just to where it's just so long between bites. So, so we get this guy in here. That's a nice one. That is a good one to end on right there, guys. I mean, it's literally been 35 minutes since I had a bite. I've done some exploring around. I mixed up some different colors, some different retrieves with nothing. Um, but we finally got another fish. This is probably gonna put us at, to at least 10 fish on the stringer, which is awesome, but maybe closer to a dozen. I don't really know. I haven't really been keeping count, but that's a that's a really quality fish. And again, he's got no blemishes on him. So we're gonna throw him on the stringer. We're gonna grab our stuff and we're gonna hike on out of here. But it has been an awfully good time out here today, but I'm excited to get home, get warmed up, clean these guys and eat them for supper. All right, let's see how many fish we got here on this stringer. I'm thinking 10 or a dozen. We've got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten crappie, exactly. I think we have like five white crappie and five black crappie too, which is pretty cool. And even mix of species today. And you can see they've kind of changed color since they've been on the stringer and kind of been out of the water for kind of a second. They're not as pale as they once were, but it's definitely some respectable fish. All good keepers. So let's go on ahead and get these fish out of the woods. Let's get them back to the truck, back to the house, to the clan table and then in our bellies, what you say. Let's go. All right guys, we have gone mobile. We just cooked up the fish, or Meemaw cooked the fish. We're here at Meemaw Peapot's house, and Meemaw cooks the best 
fried crappie around. Yes, I'm not sure yes. how she does it, but it's just absolutely the best. Everybody's here. We've got Cypress here. He's actually devouring some pickles. Take a look at this. <laughs> look at this. You like pickles? This little boy loves his pickles. <laughs> Peepaw, how's fish taste? Mm. <laughs> I can't even talk good. It's so good. <laughs> Well, that's always a good sign. Caught plenty of fish yesterday down at the creek to feed the whole fam. We had 10 in total, and that gives us all, how many does it give us? Four pieces each? Yeah. That's plenty. We're going to have a good time. So, yeah, we're going to sit here, enjoy the fish. Actually, I'm going to take a bite. We should try it. We need to do the taste test, don't we, Jay? I just kind of broke off a big piece. Here we go. Ready for it? Oh, yeah. It's so simple and so delicious. It's just really light. Do you use this? Do you use just like cornmeal and flour or what? I use cornmeal mix. Cornmeal mix, and then she always seasons the grease with onions. onions. And then whenever I try to replicate it, it just never turns out the same. So she must throw a lot of love in there mixed into it. But <laughs> It really is the best. It's so good. So I could eat all this. Mm -hmm. But anyways, this is where we're going to end the video. We're going to sit here and enjoy our time with family and eat these fish while they're hot. But I just want to say thank you all so much for hanging out with me down at the creek yesterday. It was freezing cold, but we got mm -hmm. the job done. And definitely be expecting some more crappie fishing videos in the near future. But if you all enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, and we will see you on the next one. Can you say bye, Sai? Say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>